Alrighty, so. A little bit more tutorialization because, like, you know, there's at least one more thing to talk about in this game that, like, you know, it's kind of important to basically note. Just the maze, Lord. Let's turn this off for a moment. All right, so I note that in this game, there's basically these spells you can basically cast your capital on like enemy opponents to like you know sort of hinder them or help your own parties and stuff like that, and. It's kind of like basically worth knowing because like, you know, you basically seen like a whole lot of it basically happening like the last like, you know, few like parts here of like, you know, the undead. And I figured basically go over like, you know, what each of the different facts and things you have like, you know, at their disposal for spells. And basically show it off. I'll note that basically for like the Empire here, they basically have access to like, you know, some basic like, you know, helpful spells for the guys. So they have like, you know, air wards and like, you know, uh, war wards basically in like the first level. Those are basically useful against like the like the mountain clans to like you know sort of like help like you know reduce damage from like their like you know guys or like the air war is basically good against like your own like you know forces that have like you know lightning based attacks. Strength, celerity, they basically have initiative and damage is like you know always helpful. Lightning does a little bit of damage to like you know a part in the field, always useful. Getting to like the level two spells basically have like you know another helpful spell for like your guys. You have haste, so that basically helps you like you know, move around the map a little bit more, which makes up for the fact that like you know um, your guys may be a little bit slower. You have like, you know, healing, you have like, you know, living armor, so something to heal up your guys to like, you know, keep them going. Living armor to basically help them like, you know, um, you know, scout basically around or like, you know, um, battle like, you know, they're like, um, you know, fly captors, the banshees or like the, ba the baronesses, stuff like that. Two sides to reveal a little bit of like, you know, the um, area. Earth Ward basically help like protect against like, you know, more dwarven attacks or like, you know, some of like the petrifying attacks of like the, like, you know, um, the Legion of the Damned. So, why I'm basically going over these spells basically here, by the way, is that it's basically worth like knowing, like, you know, each of these factions like basically have like sort of a different, different approach. And as you basically see, like, from the first, like, two, like, you know, pips of, like, the, you know, the Empire here, their spells are basically oriented toward, toward like, um, towards basically, like, you know, defending their, like, you know, their, like, troops, like, you know, helping, like, heal up a little bit, giving them around the map. A little bit of, like, you know, uh, looking around basically with living armor, but, you know, not a whole lot, basically, like, you know, more than that. You know, espionage and stuff like this. And basically, it's um, basically very much like this because, like, you know, in like the third tier, basically, you have like Mind Warp, which is like useful against, like, you know, um, the paralyzing attacks of like ghosts and, like, you know, the fear attack of like the Baroness. Holy Armor to basically like reduce damage. Um, Holy Strength basically to increase like chance to hit. Lightning to like, you know, do more damage. In the fourth tier, we basically get Summon Golem, so that's basically nice, like, you know, um, part of killing a like, you know, type of character. Fire Ward, Call the Arms, so. Fire is useful to, like, you know, protect against, like, you know, the Legion of Dance, like, you know, fire attacks. Call the Arms is useful to, like, you know, protect against, like, you know, damage from, like, or basically increase your damage to, like, you know, do more. So, Strength, Call the Arms. Now, I'm not by the way, I basically picked the Mace Lord because there is, like, a 5th tier, and it's only available to them. I'm not if you basically go for, like, you know, the 5th tier of, like, you know, the Empire, you basically get access to the Death Ward, Armageddon, and Mace of Healing, so... Basically, like, you have, like, a really great healing spell right here to, like, you know, heal up your guys. Armor game basically does a whole lot of like you know air damage and then like you know death warp basically like, you know renders like the undead basically like, you know defenses against your attacks for the most part but whatever. And let's just go over to like one of the artifacts at this point. So we'll turn it this one. Go here. Go new quest. Ashes to ashes. And let's just go over to like you know the mountain clans here basically first. I'll note that the mountain clans basically are like very similar to like you know the empire, and they have very like you know defensive like you know um, sort of nature to their spells. But at the same time, they're not like as like you know um, defensive oriented as like the like empire. So you have access basically to like you know your buff spell. Um, there's like a, you know a force walk spell over here to like you know help the dwarves basically like, make up for like the lack of like you know flying creatures. They got like you know southern rock basically lets you like you know um, explore the map a little bit or like inflict a little bit of damage on a small party. Ice fall, ice shield, so you know, very similar to like the empire basically, but you know, they have access to like you know um, a, 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 a mobility like spell down here to like you know help out a little bit. 
and that continues on with like the second tier with like Safaring. So if you're easily, like, you know, um, playing with the dwarves, like, you know, you'll be casting like, you know, Safaring or like, you know, Force Walk to help you, like, you know, get through trees and stuff like that. There's like Hymn of Clan Space to help you know, boost up, like, like, you know, the initiative of your guys a little bit more. So you have like damage, you have like, you know, less damage than you have like, you know, initiative over here. Dwarven Dirigible basically helps you do a little bit, little bit more damage to like guys in the field. Healing basically, like, you know, helps you, like, you know, keep your guys alive. You know, Cyberbell's Fish basically lets you, like, you know, reverse a little bit of fog, so. A little bit of like you know, exp you know, exploration for this like right here if you want to. Note that these guys don't have a second tier summon like the like you know, um, the Empire does, but at the same time they'll get basically they're like you know, their first tier like summon the Valkyrie over here. So the Valkyrie basically is like you know, nice like you know, um, attack like a party type of like thing if you basically want to do, do that. Chant of Arms is useful to like you know, basically like, you know, boost up your chance to hit. Chant of Haste basically makes, makes you say, you know, you basically like you know. Completely restore like your like you know pirates like you ability to like run around the map. Tempest like you know earth damage like you know a pirate so very similar to chain lightning but you know with like you know earth damage as opposed to like you know the air damage. Demigar sells like you know to tier four we get like chant of four two so less damage of thirty three percent so similar to like the empire they have like you know one for like less damage. Wotan's blessing uh three three percent chance to great um your chance to hit so um I think they have like you know. Well, for some reason, basically, they have, like, you know, Chant of Arms, which basically has, like, you know, 25% chance, a great chance to hit. And they have, like, you know, Chant of Fortune, which has, like, you know, um, or what is Blessing, or basically has, like, 3% chance of, like, great chance to hit, so. I don't know why they basically have both, but whatever they're there. Benji and Yammer basically have, like, 100 points of, like, war damage, so, you know, very similar to, like, the Ant Power, basically, like, how they sort of work. Note that the, like, you know, the dwarves, they don't have, like, you know, any spells to, like, sort of, like, you know, boost up the, like, you know, um, defensive like the care of the characters like you know air wars and stuff like that, but they have access to like sea um to like sea uh seafaring and like you know force walk, and they have a lot of like you know more bus spells to like you know augment their troops to be like you know more like you know durable in battle. And then we got all the way all the way to tier five here. Basically have like incorruptible, which basically um, makes them like you know immune to like you know thieves. Wotan's champ basically makes it so like they have like you know increased fifty percent chance of like you know battle and in, in battle. Very very nice. Stone ancestors really, really nice as well, but you know um. That basically requires that you have, like, you know, the Mage Lord, so you're, you're basically cut off, like, the Warrior Lord and, like, you know, um, the Guildmaster. But this base basically is, like, the, you know, like probably the best spell in like, the entire game right here, Wilton is Chant, if you're, you know, using your guys. On note, by the way, like, the Dwarves basically here. Um, if you basically look at the, uh, the spells and, like, the armor base basically that they're, like, you know, playing with, a lot of, like, the Dwarven, like, spells are sort of, like, there to, like, sort of augment their, like, you know, lackluster troops and, like, you know, their moving, de moving departments and, like, you know, um, a lot of, like, their, like, other, like, you know, um, penalties, I guess, they basically have. So, there's very, very powerful spells of, like, the Dwarves here that basically, like, you know, make them do, like, a lot more damage, like, Wilton's Chant here or, like, you know, um, being cr incorruptible. And that's basically sort of, like, you know, sort of just, like, the Dwarves here, like, you know, their stuff is here to, like, to augment their, like, their guys to, like, you know, do, like, more in, like, you know, in a battle. Well, like the, uh, the Empire is basically all around, about, like, you know, being all-rounded, like, you know, let's heal our troops a little bit, let's, like, you know, give them, like, you know, defensive wars to keep them from, like, you know, taking, like, da damage in the first place, stuff like that. But moving on, now, I'm not that the Empire and, uh, like, the, like, you know, the dwar dwarves here, these guys basically have, like, more defensive, like, oriented spells, but when you basically get to, like, the other guys, like, the Legion of the Damned and, like, you know, the, um, the Undead, we'll jump in with, like, you know, one of them now. Uh, let's go with the Legion of Dam here first. It's worth knowing that with, with the Legion of the Damned here, basically. These guys basically have, like, you know, a very, like, you know, um, shall we say, interesting sort of, like, you know, aspect to the magic because they essentially have, like, you know, um, Inkari Hellhound, which basically, like, you know, lets them, like, you know, attack the Kapari over there. And then they have, like, this illusion spell right here as well, so... Um, basically they have, like, you know, uh, the straight-up, like, you know, attack like spell, which is, like, you know, you summon, like, you know, a, 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 you know, on a field and it basically attack stuff. These illusions are very similar to, like, you know, the, um, their, like, counterparts right here. And basically you can see there's, like, you know, Incantary Blarry over here, basically some sort of illusion. Um. They also have, like, you know, one over here as well, like, you know, an, an illusion, like, you know, Avenger over here, basically. No, by the way, this like has a, a duration of, like free for some reason. I'm not really sure why, but it, it does. So they do. 
And anyhow, basically the idea of like these spells here, I'm just gonna like research this real quick. And we'll just cast it. So the idea of like this spell here is that you, bas you can basically sort of like cast it on a field. And these are basically like, you know, basically cast these like illusions here, so. Basically, unless you run around the map of these guys to like look around for stuff. And they don't actually like have the ability to like talk stuff because they're not like you know offensive like you know summons, but you know, these summons basically can be used to like explore the map a little bit if you want to. And it'll probably just like sort of grayed out the hellhound like picture here, so you can tell it's illusion as opposed to like a real one. Alright, enough of explaining of that. So I'll note that basically there's like summon spells for like the like you know um the the demons here. Note that they have like a summon spell in like their first tier and have a summon spell in like their second tier. So as opposed to like the um the uh dwarves who basically have like their third tier summon basically in like you know the third tier or like the empire only has like their one um summon basically like the in the second tier these guys have like two summons basically in, like the first and second tier and they don't get access to like another summon spell until like they get to like you know um the, like you know tier five spells over here but anyhow basically there's like you know um the the hellhound and like it's like you know it's illusion to like counterpart on how to basically work uh, I'm not probably it's also like, you know, as like always, there's always these like, you know, damaging spells like this. Note that the like, you know, the Legion of Damage Dam have two like, you know, like tier one damage spells. And they basically do like mind damage and like, you know, fire damage. And you note that basically like the like, you know, the Legion of Damned here. These guys basically have like spells that like, you know, um, like basically like, you know, damage spells in like all their categories here. So they have a damage spell right there, they have a damage spell right here, they have a damage spell right there, they got a damage spell right there, damage spell right here. So. This is actually probably something worth um, worth doing, by the way. Each of the different, like, you know, factions have, like, their sort of, like, you know, um, sort so of, say, like, you know, bonuses to, like, their magic. You note that basically for, like, the Empire, they basically have, like, you know, all their, like, wards, basically, uh, like, you know, make them, like, sort of, like, you know, protected from, like, attacks and stuff like that. And the doors basically have, like, a lot of, like, buffs, basically, to, like, you know, basically, like, you know, augment their troops, make them a lot bit better. Basically, for, like, the Legion of the Damned, these guys basically have a sort of, like, offensive outlook, and a lot of their spells, basically, are, are oriented to, like, you know, bringing, like, death and destruction across, like, you know, the field, so to speak. And then they also have like you know um, these other spells as well. So unlike basically like the um, the dwarves or like the humans, the leaders of the damage have spells that are, are sort of oriented to like you know hurting like the other parties. So this basically reduces like the armor of like you know target units, so they have like you know less like you know defenses against your like your guys. And then there's like other ones as well, like you know reduces damage like inflicted in chain units, so they do like less damage. Um, they have like reduced initiative like the other units, so they have like you know less like you know chance to go first. Now, they do have, like, you know, some, like, you know, augmentation type of, like, you know, spells, like this one right here. This is a really nice one that basically renders your, your like, part of basically invisible, so they can't be targeted with, like, you know, spells. And then they also have, like, you know, replenishes a small area of a fog of war, like this one right here, so if you basically want to, like, you know, protect your, like, units from, like, you know, being seen, then this is, like, useful for that as well. Or basically it's to protect, like, you know, um, some, like, units on a field that, like, the enemy is basically going after as well, so. You basically put that, like, you know, fog of war on top of, like, say, like, you know, a neutral and they basically get, like, you know, spell, like, with, like, you know, around a spell attacks. Note probably also have like this like process type of skill seal that basically like you saw in like the first like key mission. This basically like you know um, makes this like you know you basically paralyze the target so they can't move around. And then of course the damage spell. Then you have like some more and basically like this tier here basically like you know less damage or less chance to hit in a fourth tier, fourth tier spell. Hundred like fire damage, hundred um, earth damage basically like you know being dropped right here. And then of course they have like you know in the fifth tier like you know the like you know illusion here. They have basically like, you know, they're like, you know, super summon. And then they have like this like, you know, massive fire damage right here as well. So this is sort of show off like, you know, what this guy basically is all about. Um, these guys basically like, you know, are all about like, you know, bringing on definite destruction. They have like, you know, some like, you know, very interesting like, you know, um, debuff spells, so to speak. And then one final go of it, we're just going to go to um, the undead here. So there's the ended hordes. And one more to go with this, basically. This should be like the last like surge of troll I'm just gonna do by the way, but you know. Whatever. Let's just go in here. Alright, so I note that the undead are sort of like the kings of summoning, by the way, because they basically have like, you know, the skeleton in tier one. They have like the evil ant in tier two. They have the nightmare in tier three. They don't have anything really in like the tier four, but you know, in tier five they basically have access to like, you know, death, so. Lots and lots of summons basically to like, you know, throw out your enemies if you want to for the undead. Now, the thing about the undead base is that they have like, you know, very similar to like, you know, sort of set up to like the Legion of Damned. They basically have like, you know, damage spells basically to like, you know, inflict like, um, on, on our guys. They have like, you know, reduction spells that basically like, can reduce their, like, you know, um, chance to like to hit or like, you know, bruises their armor and stuff like that. 
continuing off like the second tier, you basically have like some more of this. Basically, you have like you know, um, inflicts like death damage. There's basically a shadow spell that basically like you know puts like you know a small area of like you know far of war. So basically, um, pirates say, like see what's going on. You see me like, basically use that in my own like you know playthrough because I basically have access to the staff that basically lets me do it. The staff of twilight. Um, there's like you use damage. There's stone rain. So very similar to like the Legion of Damage, these guys also have a lot of like you know spell output to basically do, but they also have a lot more summons and stuff like that as well. If you want to tier free by way, they basically have access to like you know uh, the nightmare of course. They also have access to like Call of Death Dragon uh, or Decay Dragon. Rather. Touch the basically reduces the chance of hit. Uh, terror basically reduces their initiative. Then they have like Nightfall basically over here. So note this basically replaces a large area of the Fog of War. So this basically protects the um, part from enemy spells. So if you basically want to basically like you know cover like the entire like field basically of like you know um, like you know Fog of War for like the enemy, this will basically do it. There's also Rot basically over here. So like, you know, it reduces damage for basically people. Call of Red Dragon. And then we get to like, you know, the Fire Fall tier, they have access to like Death. And they have like, you know, Damage War and like, you know, Hecticomb. Um, I'll note that Death is, of course, like, you know, he basically probably saw this a little bit when he basically played like the Mountain Doors. Essentially, like, you know, Death is like this, like, you know, someone they basically get summoning on like the field. And it basically does a whole lot of damage to like, you know, one unit basically. Like, Death, what is, that's what Death is basically all about. And of course, you have like, you know, Damage War, which is like, you know, um, this is like their only war basically that the Undead basically have, and it's like really stupidly powerful because like, you know, we're using like the like, you know, first uneffective weapon based damage. Basically, like they get a lot of like damage for like the like, you know, the Empire or like, you know, the friendly truth basically of like, you know, the dwarves, like the a Legion of Dam, so very, very powerful stuff they like, you know, they have like in our tier five here, but you know, whatever. You know, in hindsight, if I was actually designing this game myself, I'd probably try like mix up the spells a little bit more for like, you know, the um Legion of Damned and like, you know, the undead to have like a little bit more of support for themselves because you know basically like right away basically like the um this game here the um the ability to like you know hinder like the enemy pirates is very useful and all that stuff but at the same time if they're basically like you know um inside like a, a city or stuff like that you can't actually hinder like the city or anything like that so these spells like are very good but you know um you know that basically they're like only good against like stuff in the field but whatever all right let's turn the music back on We'll turn into this game and we'll go over to like, you know, keep, keep doing on with like the Empire here. <clears throat> Alright, so. Now, I'm basically not basically like, you know, at this point, I'm going to try to explore like the rest of this map over here so you can like see what's basically over here. So. Let's see here. You're healing up, which is basically fine for now. For the High Father. You're right there. So, I'm not basically like over here is like, you know, a town, but there's like no resources around it, so whatever. It looks like there's resources based up here, so let's just check that out, I guess. Let's just drop this right here. Alright, so there's some Russo map is up here, I guess, so okay. Let's move this guy around over here, I guess. So some like you know dwarves basically mountains over here, that's fine. Right now obviously trying to think where we just want to have like you know her go right now, so. I know there's basically something over here, apparently. Yes. So, basically, that's like a, you know, a Lich Queen basically over here. I'll do my best. Uh, let's just go duel her, I guess. Let's do a little bit of damage to her for his sake of doing a little bit of damage, I guess. So, I'll note that basically for this episode, by the way, what I'm probably going to do, I'm basically going to enter like the under territory to sort of like soften him up a little bit to try and like grab what's basically over here. My lead. So, that'll be my, my basically my ultimate plan right now, is like go in and try and grab what I can. And I think I was going to go like this for now. Get them! This guy won't be like, you know, much trouble. So bang. Bang. Bad miss. Mm. 
Actually, it's probably a good misplaced suit because now I can heal this guy up over here, I guess, so. <laughs> mm. Alright, so. Uh, Carl and the Sea Mayor. Master Ruo, the sorcerer, lives in a ruin not far from here. Before he possessed the scepter, he was a kind and helpful sorcerer, using his magic to help the peasants. I guess power corrupted him. Scare is going to grab this character over here now. I'm listening. You know, I think with her, Bob, I'm going to send her up to here to like this room some mana. And make sure this death man will get around to it, so. We'll send you basically up here. What now? And. For now, let's send this guy basically over here, I think. Obviously, try and use him to explore around the unattacked capital for a little month, so we're going to see what's over here. My lord? You're going to sell stuff for me, I think, so let's do so. See, I don't know if this, like, is hell period. You can, like, you know, sell for a good amount of gold. So I'll probably keep this for possibly selling in the future, perhaps. But this other stuff over here, I can probably, like, you know, sell it, so... Get a little bit of basic money to, like, work around with. You know, I might actually make a curse of can over here, fight this, like, you know, serpent over here, because, like, you know... You probably can take it out and like be done with it. Not gonna do with those guys, they're really too tough, but whatever. Alright, so. You know, I'm to kill off that least penis for the sake of killing her off, so. I don't actually have the mana force, never mind. Oh, so I do have to fight my like you know, over here. So I'm just gonna retreat. Uh. Oh well, he died. Uh. Really, he did what he needed to, so that's fine. All right, so these guys basically are over here now, like this, like tier five, four city. So let's see here. I don't attempt to like go fight that city, but you know. For the high father. You might have to like to just wait for a moment to do so. Let's just grab this death man to get rid of it, so they can't like make use of it. My lord. I try to think if this guy can basically like you know survive like you know being attacked by the city from over here basically is the thing, right? So he probably can if I basically give him like a bit of armor. So. If you get like holy armor, you might be able to survive basically being attacked by like that sea server and get rid of it, so might do that. But we'll see him back in here for now, I think. My liege. Alright, so Yester. I am gonna basically send Yester to attack these guys over here, I guess, so we'll basically have to like, you know, um give him a nice little bit of like, you know, power base to make you know, use of to like, do so. You know what, I actually want to save up my man at this point, to like, you know, do stuff, so... Let's not basically set it out for a moment, let's like, just like, hang out and not save for a little bit. It's not like I'm basically pressed for time I'm at the moment, so... Let's just sort of like, wait around to like, you know, see what can basically find. <laughs> oh, there's a death knight coming for me. Ah, oh, there we go, that's what I want you, I left the town. He's got a death piece coming after me over here for like his Necromancer Inspector, but you know, we can deal that if we get around to it, so... Get up here, wipe that out. Just a little bit of healing to keep her, her alive for like a spell or two. My services are required. Alright, so, I could go after her right now, but you know, I probably want to take out the sea here first, so... Let's do that. Get them! And we'll wipe out, let's see here. He might kill the initiative, basically, so... Let's go like this. Alright, armor is going whatever.
We'll go like this now. And there we go, we left out this like, you know, city here. Don't you think my liege that sucks proximity to the under capital is a bit reckless and puts us in necessary danger? Don't misinterpret my, misinterpret my sayings. I have no fear of the enemy, but a little caution is sometimes advisable. Alright, so we just wiped out like it's like part here, it's fine. On the part, the main reason for like attacking this guy like so close is just so like, you know, he doesn't have like the ability to like, you know, um, spam like these like good units at me anymore. Like if I take out these like, you know, Templars and like this like, you know, Nickmaster Inspector, he won't be like able to do like much to me anymore and I'll be just fine by me. So that's what I'm basically aim for. I'm actually gonna upgrade this by when it's like putting a bunch of like you know stuff in here, so put this here, put this here. Just a little stuff in the Fenna City there a little bit, that's fine. Left side is a bunch of men right here. More experience for my guys. So, almost up to level 5. My lead. I like how this looks like we went over here to try and go after my city, but you know. Get them! She's gonna die for it basically now. This is my hitter. <laughs> Uh, so heal up, um... Mm. Him, I guess. There we go! You know what, I should probably send like a flag plant over here, so we'll do that with like, you know... Right here for now, send like a... Means a little flat fire of like, you know, this guy here. I'm listening. Really right now it's all about like wipe out the rest of like this guy's like your resources and stuff like that, so you can't do anything, My so niche. let's just keep at it. My I'm listening. And let's see here, you're gonna basically just play a rod. She's probably gonna kill by like this guy here, but it's fine, like you know. She basically served her purpose. My services are required. I'm listening. Alright, so that basically like shows off a lot of this, this area up here. I'm probably not gonna go right next to the cap couple though, so. Let's just go here with like a limited armor. So that basically reveals basically what's all around here, I guess. He's got a shop basically over here. He's got, you know, a giant tank basically over here. You just go up there. My liege. Hide up some loot over here. Looks like they did a pretty, pretty good job basically weapon everything down here, so I'm good about, you know, pop out that. I'm listening. On our other screen, why not? So My liege. All right, so these guys more or less fully healed up here, so I'm happy about that. I'm listening. And basically, there's like nothing on this corner over here, so. Let's get over here. Plant our flag. 
My liege. Get them! Might as well wipe this out now, I guess, so... One big hit to you. Bad miss, but whatever. Good kill to him. And let's go like, you know, this. Now, there's really no point basically like doing that, like, you know, healing to this guy because, like, you know, I probably can't really go anywhere, but whatever. Actually, you know what? Let's just send this guy over here for now. And we'll always go to, like, you know, first academy and we'll always, like, you know, drop the Fog of War busy on him, so. Use up the Staff of Twilight here a little bit more. He gets some stuff to hit me, but that's not it for him. For the High Father. My services I'm are listening. required. We'll send everybody up this way to explore a little bit and get that Earth flag over here, so. We'll get over here. My liege. Get them! You're in the way. Let's see here. Let's do that to him. Hurt you a little bit. Hurt you a little bit. I could have been better, but whatever. I took out the necromancer, which is like the main fret there, so I'm happy with that. You're done. You're done. You're done. Alright, there's just again until his max level, so he's now basically level 5. That should mean you should get like leadership like you know of like you know five so we'll be able to have like a full party. Ah, oh, staff of traveling. Very nice pickup. He can't use that himself, but whatever, it's fine. My services are required. For the high father. My, My services are required. We're gonna do this again. So we'll drop down like staff of twilight. Now, no problem for this maps up. I should actually have like enough like you know revealed to you guys to, like sort of show off like you know the under capital like the like you know human capital. Um, I, I'm not gonna basically play the under, under campaign for like this game because you can basically go over to like yes to quest to like see a really like, you I'm know, too old for this. Really well done basically sort of campaign for like you know um, the undead. But just so you basically know, if you check out like the second mission of like yesterday like you know quest is like you know campaign for like this game here. You'll actually see that the undead, like, you know, um, capital, like, the, like, you know, human capital are in the exact same places, and, like, it's, like, the exact same map as, like, you know, the, um, undead capital's, like, second mission. It's worth knowing that this mission here is, like, you know, sort of share of, like, the undead's, like, campaign. I'm too old for this. Because, basically, they, like, go, um, they're basically after the same, like, eject over here to, like, get the staff. I'm listening. Mm -hmm. And there's leadership, so, pray for that. You execute my spy, so whatever. Now, I'm not basically at this point, by the way, um, the undead basically are sort of running out of resources, I think, because they don't have, like, you know, um, what's basically in here to, like, do stuff with, I guess. What now? I'll do my best. I'm just gonna infiltrate a spy. Basically, at this point, he only has this, like, you know, capital here to, like, do stuff with, and he's got, like, you know, warriors and whisper marines, so he's running out of resources to do stuff, so... I'm listening. If I take away his gold, it's gonna be like sort of dead in the water, like, you know, much like the Leash of Dam was, but in you know, like the first uh, mission. Yes. And then at least we're gonna, we can sort of like march up here to like, you know, whip out what's basically like, you know, being left over, basically, so to speak. <laughs> Get them! Let's take these, like, you know, skeleton arch basically on over here. By the way, just like a skeleton archer, this thing actually isn't like a you know, part of like the Undead Hordes, like, you know, roster, but you know, they do have like an archer unit that, like, you know, they can actually use from, I guess. There's a skeleton warrior, so long story, everything else. There's his Wolverine. Uh, let's go after you. Uh, 
This Doom Drake right here. So, twisted by death, the Allison Beast consumed their Emerson Claw poisonous gas. Alright, so. There are no survivors in this city, my lord. The Ended Horse has slaughtered everyone. It actually wasn't the Ended Horse that basically like, slaughtered the city, but whatever. My services are required. Alright, so at this point, basically, we've wiped out, like, you know, everything that's, like, you know, um, in this guy's path. We're gonna send this guy, basically, over here to, like, you know, guard the city over here. And I'll basically, like, you know, start, like, you know, upgrading the city a little bit, drop some, like, you know, clothes in here for a fight the E2. Fighter, Titan. My knee. My services For are the required. High Father. What now? Oh, she must be dead. <laughs> we'll try to retreat, but you know she's probably gonna die right here. She got lucky. Well, lucky-ish. So he did like manage to pop out a guy over here. So this guy's Wolverine is warrior and like you know, ready like at the rate right there. But whatever. For the High Father. You can just plant raw right here to like you know, keep this gold from like you know, going to his coffers. What now? And let's just see here. Oh, if they're trying to like poison like, the city, it's like, you know, very little chance. <laughs> we're just gonna do that for now, I guess. Get them! I'll send you up here to like fight these guys and get their reward. Probably not gonna get any more like you know experience for Yesta here, so it's really just about going to like the quest destination. But I just gotta check out the treasures here that like you know we're left behind, and like you know we'll start making way over here after that. My lord. So that'll be the plan at least. Um. You know I'm tempted to like fight this guy here, so we're gonna use hasting I think to get him over there. The thing is, this guy's gonna die, like, you know, pretty quickly, so... Yeah, let's use our scrolls basically on this guy here a little bit. So, we picked up a bunch of scrolls for this guy here. We got ourselves basically a fire scroll and drop this guy, so... Hook him up a little bit of that. Definitely work on this guy, like, he's like, not gonna take any death damage on his, like, death knight. Well, he's very, you know, like, you know... It's like definitely won't take any deafness, so it's like killer voice and that guy, so. Yeah, why not? There's not a whole lot of things to cast, cast death basically on, so. Oh, I actually cast it twice because I'm a mage lord. I forgot my mage lord power, so I actually cast like spells twice like this if I want to uh, hurt him up. Let's do that like that. For the Empire! <sighs> the 
some experience for those guys. I'm listening. We'll pick this up next time. We'll go after these guys after that. My services are required. So I'll be playing up here. Well, I used to sort of like have like a part over here with a bit of Pegasus Knight, so. We'll get Hulu basically right here, I guess, because I have, you know, I don't know where he basically is on the field. You can have this guy here, you can have this guy right here. There's like a little part for him. Here's a fighter, here's an archer. Archer. No, I have to build the basic upgrades or whatever, it's fine. Mm -hmm. My lord? And pretty much this guy's dead in the war at this point. You can only buy like a simple war at this point to serve Gar's capital. I'm listening. But whatever. You plant your rod, so you're good to go. No problem, right? these guys don't like usually, usually buy rock planters until like, they have like, lots of heroes on the field, so we won't play see a rock player come out for a, a good while My now. My services are required. We'll sit in there, first cannon, or actually let's make our way up here, I guess, with you. At your service! A lot of these guys basically sort of like, you know, jumping each other's like city, I think, actually. My liege. The other barrel protection basically was like, you know. Get them! You know, seeing right here, I guess. Um, take this guy out. <coughs> Focus on this guy here, I guess. Bad misses, but well. <coughs> Alright, this goes across the <coughs> War scroll, how very nice, but whatever. Alright, so that's basically if like the undead's territory for the most part. So, um, I'm not basically if you're playing with the undead horse for like you know their second mission. Essentially, it's like a, uh, basically like you know what they're basically looking at when they basically get over here, except like you know, not like you know, all the empire of the being like controlled like this. Um, basically, they have a lot of neutral suits over here, the undead horse, and they have like you know, lots of like undead basically forces and, like these mountain giants up here and stuff like that to basically deal with. My services I'm are required. Him. Essentially, these guys are sort of in a civil war with like the undead basically over here at the start of our mission, and then, like, you know, that's basically it sort of like plays out. But whatever. Alright, so the players are getting attacked, I guess. Not a weapon attack, why not? He's experienced for these guys, I guess. It'd be funny if actually, it should be actually build like the, like, you know, the marksman's like, you know, structure so this guy can upgrade, but whatever. Oh, that's my miss. Never bad miss. That's my experience for these guys. No nope, problem, the Titans don't never get experienced by me in this game, so that's not a note about them, but whatever. At your service! Alright, he's gonna get over here. Quick heal, keep him alive. My liege. Okay, yes, sir. Get down over to. Let's see here. All these guys basically are fully healed for the most part, so. My lord? You get right there. For the High Father. Yes, my lord! And yes, they're gonna get down here, just drop off his, like, you know, stuff for this guy to use if he wants to. So we'll get this guy to stop, basically picked up. Scroll. Probably not gonna use that scroll, but it's just there, I guess, for the sake of, you know, being there. You're here, fam. My services are required. Another good luck to attack my Pegasus Knight for whatever. I'm going to switch basically, if he wants to. Hey, here's a can get into the city up here. I'm listening. 
There's really no point to revive this guy, but we're gonna revive him, I guess, just for the sake of reviving him. At your service! Swap! Okay, I feel like it. My liege. Alright, so yes, sir. I'll basically send yes to myself here to collect this, like, you know, bear up here for this guy, I guess, so we'll do that with him. Get them! Yeah, these guys hurt a lot when they hit, so... Probably a good idea to have, like, you know, yes to myself this guy. There's my Baron Resistance, so let's put this on my guy right now. Um... There's a question, by the way. These guys currently have 20 armor, or, you know, these guys currently have 10% armor. If I put this on, like, right here, so now we have, like, you know, 20% and, like, you know, 10%. They do stack, by the way, these bears, so if I want to, I actually have, like, these guys have, like, you know, have, like, a really love uh, armor, like, you know, sort of, like, you know, this position, I guess, if I want to. I suppose, like, this, like, you know, bear speech isn't really helping me that much, so maybe we'll do that with them. My services are required. For the High Father. At your service! This guy now. Why not? There's a witch hunter. There's a witch queen basically popping out, because why not? I guess in the capital, I should probably build up the, like, you know, the archer ring, so we'll get this base right here. Not much gold I'm basically getting at this point because I have like all the gold mines over here as well now, so we got lots of gold basically at this point. Can upgrade this, put in our arsenal line back here if I want to. My liege. I'm not bothered, like no real point to find these guys over here because I don't really get any rewards for it, so. Let's just avoid these guys and go up this way, I guess. <laughs> My services are required. 